What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick commentary. Um, I think I'm going to call this series Nozzle Nut Nights or something like that. If you guys don't know, Nozzle Nuts is a nickname for firefighters and stuff like that. Um, like It's just firefighters who are on the nozzle on the hose a lot. Um, and this series is just going to be firefighting stories. And it was actually something I was thinking about for a while but never, like, never said anything about it. And then... Um, Six Shadows said I should start a series because I've been using I've been using some of my stories in high school stories. But real quick about the gameplay in the background, it's bootleg. Uh, I'm using an MSR. I forget what I go. Prob I think I'm like 18 and 10 or something like that. Um, which again is pretty good for me with a sniper. So um, anyway, tonight today's story is going to be why um, you're the first time I climbed an area aerial ladder like a aerial device um what that means is like if you guys have ever heard of a ladder truck which most people have um it's one of it's a ladder truck so um yeah so it's not now there's i'm gonna explain what these are too um this is like that series i was talking about guys that i said i was gonna explain some firefighting terms and stuff like that that i'm gonna use in videos so um there's there's tons of different types of ladders. I'm not going to get into them, but um, that's for another video. And um, the ladders. Sorry, if you hear that. Uh, the the ladders are like there's a truck that I that my company has called a, a telescort. Uh, we it's made by Pierce. I forget who, what it's actually called on Pierce. It's called like a aerial waterway or something like that. Um, or, uh, I don't know, but, um, on, like, KME, when they make it, it's called a fire stick, um, stuff like that, so, that's what we have, um, what it is, is it's a ladder, but it's considered an engine, because it's not, its primary function is to pump, rather than to get, uh, water, and, like, the nozzle on top of the ladder is for the, uh, it's just for elevated water, that's why it's called an elevated, uh, engine with an elevated waterway. So, what that does is it's, um, there's, like, we use it, it's really only used as a ladder for evac, which is evacuation, just quick, easier to say. Um, so, we had to learn, one night for drill, we trained to, um, climb it, because you guys actually don't know how hard it is to climb one of those ladders. It's not like climbing a stationary ladder that you set up, like a roof ladder or something. Um, these ladders are a lot wob more wobbly and like it's nerve wracking when you're up there because the whole thing is shaking um, from the wind, uh, from the mixture of the wind and the weight that's on it. Um, now you know it's not going to collapse because it can hold like 1500 pounds or something like that. So you're fine. You know you're going to be fine. It's just nerve wracking when it's your first time up there. And uh, I had seen it bouncing when people were climbing on it. So when my turn came up, they were like, all right, Mike, you're up. I was like, I'm not going. Because it was an optional thing. I was like, I'm not going. And they tried to convince me for about five minutes. Finally, they said they asked if they lowered the ladder when I climb in. I said, yeah. So, uh, because the ladder is a total of 65 feet um, when it's uh, elevated straight up. when it, They had it at about a 45 degree angle, so it was about, I don't know, like half of 61, so probably about 30 feet. Plus the height of the truck, so it's 61 feet plus the height of the truck, which is probably about 10 feet high, so 71 feet really. Um, so they had it about 40 feet high for me, and I climbed it, um, and I was getting really nervous because you know that's nerve wracking. Um, like it's, it's shaking under you, and you don't know what it's what's gonna happen, and it was. I had I had it as my profile picture on Twitter or Avatar or whatever you want to call it, but um, for a while I don't have it anymore. Um, but um, one thing I'm gonna be doing with that picture is I'm probably gonna put it. At, uh, I might put it in. Actually, I'm gonna put it in right now. So one second. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is a picture of me on top of it. Behind me is fire, uh, a girl named Sam. She's another firefighter there. Um, but like I said, it was very nerve-wracking up there. You can't see it in the picture, obviously, because it's a picture. That, but the whole ladder's shaking. 
Um, if you look closely, you can see my face. I'm like cringing because I'm like terrified because I'm I don't like heights. Sorry if you hear that dog barking, but it's really, really uh, one thing I told a couple people who've asked me about joining is um, they've said I've, I've asked what what has held them back from actually joining, and they've said um, I don't feel like I have enough courage, and I told them I was like I th thought the same thing when I first joined but it's really you just gotta face your fears and really most people can do that it's not actually that hard like you just gotta just not think about it and just do it Tr trust the people that are with you and yeah so that's what I have to say on facing my fears which I can probably make a whole commentary on if you really wanted to get me started but thanks guys for watching comment like subscribe follow me on Twitter be down the description below as always guys this has been sick crazy hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching